Today we will create particles that follow a curve in Blender. To start, all we need to do is select our default cube. Go to the Particles tab on the right menu. Click the plus symbol and then change Lifetime to 500. Next, go to Field Weights and set Gravity to 0. Now simply press Shift plus A and select Isosphere. Move it a little so you can see it. Then go to Material, click New, and set to Emission. Set Emission Strength to 2. Next, go to the Shading workspace at the top. Press Shift plus A and search for Object Info. Connect Location to Color. Then go back to the Layout workspace and apply this object to the particle system. Go to Render, click Render As, and change it to Object. Set Instance Object to Isosphere. Now it starts emitting particles. Press Shift plus A again. Then create a curve called Bezier. Make it a bit bigger and place the pivot point right where the cube's face begins on this side. Now all I have to do is go to this view and start extruding the shape of curve. Then I just select the curve. Go to the Physics Properties tab, add a force field, and in the force field settings, change shape to curve. Set strength to negative five and make sure flow is set to one. Now the particles will start following the path of our curve. However, when we render, they're not glowing yet. To fix this, go to the compositing workspace. Enable Use Nodes. Then press Shift plus A and add a glare node. Place it in the middle and change streaks to bloom. Now go back to layout. In the Render tab, set the view to Compositor. Change Camera to Always. And now you can see the complete animation following the curve with the bloom effect we added. Perfect, our particles is ready. I will upload videos step-by-step -step on Blender tips. Please subscribe and like. Thank you.